without question, this is the best desk I've ever owned or used, period. Is it for you? Let's see. This is what we've been using for the past two years. Um, a couple guys and I started a company called Clockwork 9 a few years ago, and we decided we all wanted to get a set of desks. So we didn't have a lot of money at the time, and we decided to just go with the cheapest, most sturdy pallet desk because pallet wood was a big thing for us back then. And we found a guy on Craigslist who put these together. They're not bad. They're actually pretty good for the price when you consider $50. It's pretty decent. We had to stay in them ourselves. We had to replace the 2x4 legs with 4x4s. Um, but they turned out pretty good. And they've been serving their purpose every day uh, for years. But I was sick of the splinters. I was sick of my keyboard flopping around due to the uneven surface. There's just not a lot of room on it as much as I'd like, and everything got cluttered. So I started searching for a standing desk. I've always wanted one. Everywhere I've done freelance work for post-production, they've had these desks available, and it's always my go-to because it's just, it's nice being able to stand whenever you want while you're working and just having that computer there. When you're showing somebody some work, everybody can be standing just much better than sitting all day every day. But there is no shortage of desks out there. There are options upon options from all sorts of companies. And after a lot of research, Uplift is who I decided to go with. They had a really good reputation. Their options were great. I really liked the make of their desks. They offered a sit-stand desk that was made out of reclaimed wood, which I like, um, and also a four-legged desk, which to me was important for stability. Now, the cost was not great. I sort of blew by them early on because it cost more than I was willing to spend at the time, but after months of searching, it made sense to me considering everything you get with this desk. I really liked it and everything that I researched led me to believe that it was the way to go. So I started fitting it out. I started with the Douglas fir top. That's the one I really wanted. I just love how it looks. Um, I got a big desk, 72 by 30, which is perfect. Um, and I got two monitor mounts, keyboard mount, which we'll, we'll talk about that later, but it came pretty quickly. And we got all the boxes, we unpacked everything to make sure all the parts and pieces were there. There was a ton of little accessories, all sorts of attachments, and it took a long time to sort of sort everything out, but that's to be expected. You're putting together pretty complicated you know, piece of machinery here. It's more than a desk when it comes down to it. Adam and Nick uh, helped put this all together so we get this cool little time lapse. Very first thing we did to test it out was put Stevie on it and it handled him no problem. Granted, he doesn't weigh a lot, but it was a good test nonetheless. And honestly, it gave me an appreciation for what this desk can really do. Um, I did the cable management afterwards. There's this control box that all the legs sort of plug into. If you're getting a two-leg version um, with two motors, you're not going to have this much going on, but four legs, definitely great for stability. Um, and it's also a little bit quieter, it seems like. The monitor arms I ordered, I was a little worried they weren't going to be heavy-duty enough, but they really, really stood the test. Uh, I have a 34-inch ultra-wide and a 32-inch uh, just big monitors from LG and they these worked great. No problem. The reclaimed Douglas fir top itself, I gotta say, I love how it turned out. I mean, it being reclaimed wood, they don't promise that it's gonna be a perfect surface top when you get it. They say there's gonna be problems with it potentially because it's reclaimed wood, but I love that. The buttons on the front are, you know, simple. Every standing desk has pretty much the same exact thing. Uh, this has memory buttons and, you know, awesome. Love the display of numbers too. This is just a great desk. At the end of it, it was a little bit difficult to build, but manageable between four people. Once we moved it into my corner of the office, I was blown away. I mean, it just looks so much better than my old desk did and it, more importantly, it performs better than my old desk did. I hadn't had a desk with a smooth surface in such a long time. And this just, honestly, it's the perfect desk for me. I mean, I really like the ability to move the height however I need it, just adjust it in those little increments. And the space, the space is amazing. I've never had a desk with this much room to just spread out. You can just 
configure it however you want. And for me, it's all about keeping it simple. And I really like just how this lets me do that. Now, from a technical standpoint, it's a quiet desk. It's a smooth moving desk and it's an expensive desk. I mean, that's really the first thing that pops out in my mind is the cost. And I'm not gonna lie, that's still something that I'm reminded of every day when I look at it because it looks really expensive. It feels really expensive, but I suppose that's kind of a good thing. Not necessarily the fact that it costs a lot, but the fact that that cost brings you something of impeccable quality. The way this thing feels when I use it every day, to me, is worth every penny. To you, it might be more of a balance of cost versus quality, and you might lean more towards saving a buck to get something that just works like we did. Going from that to this, it's no different than going from a very cheap used car to a brand new Bentley, Mercedes, whatever. That's literally the quality level I'm talking about here. Now, you could say, well, I could do a cheaper desk and get something just as good. That's true, you can search and find that. I found this to be a good balance for me, for my everyday work. The fact that I was able to get a 12 year warranty on top of the original warranty, to me is huge. I know that in eight, 10 years, when I'm still gonna be using this desk, that warranty might come into play. And I have that comfort knowing that this desk, even though it costs you know close to $2,000, it's gonna stick with me for at least 12 years, hopefully longer. To sum things up, if you're looking for a desk like this, I mean, this is the one. This is what you gotta go for. It's perfect. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe. We really, really appreciate it. Like, seriously. Thanks.